Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning and I got Gabby and Molly in the car and we are out, we are going to get some coffee. What I do once in a while, I like to go get coffee so I drive 20 minutes to get a coffee. It's far, isn't it far? Yeah. It's too far to get a coffee. They need to put one closer where we live. Or we have to move to uh, a place where there's a coffee, uh, Tim Hortons coffee, right down the road or something. I think we're going to get coffee. Molly likes to come with me all the time. If I leave without her, she gets upset because I get them Timbits too. And that's why they like coming with me. And Daisy would love to come with me, but she gets car sick, so she's like, she would run out be excited but then she like turns back into the house because she knows she can't get in the car so she hates the car because she gets sick but we're on our way to get coffee Molly's looking attentively as we go through the drive-thru and we're gonna get some Timbies you ready you ready Molly for some Timbies yeah she's ready she's ready she's licking her lips <laughs> all right we're home we're gonna see if uh, Daisy actually Howls for the Timbits. We'll see what happens. Daisy didn't even, they're sleeping and didn't even know we had Timbits. She's not too excited. Just woke up. She's hazed. All right. Look how crazy it looks out here, you guys. It looks like ice everywhere. Actually, it is ice. Actually, it's not really ice. It's just slush. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Welcome to slush and ice and winter and a February. I'm turning on the light. Oh, well hello. We never see him in here, ever, because he always runs and jumps when the dogs come down and he's always scared of them, huh? You better go, because the dogs are on their way. Better go. Quick, go. Come here, you're gonna have to come. He is a two-handed cat. Get up there. Because the doggies are coming. Fit through those. Yeah, he's really he fat. Whole... Yeah, it's time to deworm the cat again. Or, uh, but we dewormed him in the fall. My guess is that He's just been laying around because of the cold, eating, eating all the food. Hi, Pen. What's happening? Oh, she's like, Laura, why you always gotta rub my eyes? She actually does like it when I have her in the cross ties. She likes me to clean her and scratch her and get rid of all the yuckies. Anyway, good at morning. Welcome to today's video. Today is actually kind of mild out. What was the temperature? It's like negative two or something. Negative two? This says, Plus two. Oh. Plus two in the barn. I feel all the pressure, you guys. All the pressure. It's like the middle of February. And it's time to start getting ready for show season, and we slowly are. I'm super excited about Chino and Gabby. I'm super excited for Finn and Sophie. I'm super excited for like so much stuff. I'm super excited for sun and heat and warmth. Super excited to be down at the barn more often like hours every day so that it's always clean. When you're down here a lot, you just clean it as they poop. In the winter, it kind of sits. You're down here once a day to scoop it. Gabby's remembering fondly when I made her sleep up there. Now she has brain damage. Do you have brain? Yeah, she's hit her head so many times it doesn't hurt anymore. Penny Pickle's been standing at the door waiting. She knows it's not supper time, but she knows that going in means working, and she actually does like to be busy. Right? You like to be busy? We're gonna do some stuff today, Penny Pickle. <laughs> I got nothing for you. 
You have to work for that stuff. You have to work for it, Pen. Oh, let's look at her teeth. <laughs> Gabby wants to look at her teeth. Just let us look. Yeah, we want to look at her teeth. Hmm. Her papers say that she's 11 years old. Let's look at her teeth. Because she's 18. So. Show us your teeth, little missy. She's 18. Good girl. So we set up some stuff for Gabby and I to work on with the mares today. And Penny noticed right away. She's like, oh, I will come and destroy this. I think she thinks that this is what we do this stuff for. We do it so that she will have some activity to do. Every single time we see a horse rolling, we try and go up to them and keep them down. Stay down, oh, and give them a treat. And the reason we do that is because in part of our natural horsemanship thing, I know, she's, they're all like, stop trying to clean me. <laughs> and our natural horsemanship thing, it teaches us like that that's one of the starts of trying to get your horse to lay down naturally so that you can start training them to do that. Hey, be nice. Roll again, I'll give you another treat. So uh, you guys know I've been like trying to do a lot of groundwork with Penny. I have a friend helping me and it's been so glorious. It's changed mine and Penny's life in such a massive way because there's so much more to horses than just riding. And I've told you guys before that in our area, in our experience, we have not had any access to like Groundwork training and I love it. You know, I love it, love it, love it. And I don't think my kids really love it that much yet, but they're getting there. Last winter we did a bunch of stuff and I've been making them like incorporate some stuff and they're starting to get there. But it's such an overlooked part of horsemanship. Like I feel like Penny is learning me and respecting me and enjoying the stuff that I do with her more on the ground than even riding. And I got this awesome handy dandy flag for Christmas and I wanted a pink one and they couldn't get a pink one. So Sam ordered this flag and this extra pink part so that I could have a pink flag. And I love it. And Gracie loves it. Yeah. Such a good girl. You love the flag? Yeah. just always wants to work no matter what she always wants to work and Penny sometimes wants to work but it takes her a while so watch if I hold this watch no just wait watch I'm gonna hide this behind my back Penny.
how much of that you guys saw because I can't watch the camera and watch her. But I told you guys a million times, she is so funny about her back legs. And I feel like you guys don't want to see a lot of this stuff. Like people want to see videos of people showing them how to do groundwork. They don't want to see people learning to do groundwork. And because we do daily vlogs, a lot of our videos are the process, not the finished project. And I know that causes a lot of trouble, but you guys, literally this is the first time that Penny ever just stood there and let me move this flag all over her back feet. Like her back feet are her problem area, her whole life that I've had her. And she's just letting me standing there like amazing. I say we move on and do something else today. It's taking me a really long time to get there. I'm gonna cut that off at a good, at the good part where she's doing so well. And then uh, continue again on another day. But today I'm gonna try and do something new. Let me take you higher, reaching for the sky, sitting exactly right and I'm sure I'm not because I'm using this instead of like a dressage whip but I want to use this I want to get her as familiar with this as possible and my positioning and holding the reins and stuff or holding my uh, thing is not perfect yet but the same with me training her to let me touch her back feet with the flag it's just a process what I'm doing with lunging. It's not my thing, you guys, but I wanna learn it. I can see when Gabby lunges her and I lunge her, there's a huge difference in respect level from her and that's a big thing. And I think if I can manage to make her listen to me with this, walking and then uh, doing a little bit of gait around, then I'll have like more say when I'm in the saddle. So that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm trying to work on. I know that this is the process, you guys, and I keep saying it, and in social media, we don't show processes anymore, unless it's in a video where you see the end result. But this is not that kind of a channel. This is the kind of channel where we show our growth, and our development, and our process, and I, we show the ugly, and then as it gets better and better and better, and I think that it's important for all of our kids to see that not everybody is just a beautiful picture out there on social media. I think it's important for people to see that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I think it's so, so important today more than ever before. And so that's why we show you guys our journey, our struggles, and uh, hopefully you guys wanna see it. If you don't wanna see me learning Penny, <laughs> then that's okay, I understand. It's kind of boring. Some people think that groundwork is boring. I love it. I've found like this love for it. Like I just want to spend more and more time with my flag and with Penny. I just don't want it to be 
too much for her where she gets bored. Let's see if Gracie kisses. Over here. Gabby, you did not teach your horse to kiss. I can't. Storm only knows how to kiss. Only Storm knows how to kiss. Penny to yeah, I've been trying to teach Penny to kiss. It's not her thing. Yeah, Storm, I love him. I miss him. He has the best personality. It's a little hard though, because he takes so much of the rope. Like he will move out to the rail forever and he keeps on pulling to go further. Yes. So then you gotta pull him like stop. Yeah, he's a good horse to lunge. Like he, he knows and he what it's point which way and he goes. Yeah, he's been really super trained. Like, he was such a good first horse for Gabby. Don't you know that you're beautiful?